abolished over four decades ago, Federal Government College FGC Kenu is one of the unity schools put in place by the Federal Government to foster unity, cohesion, brotherhood and improve understanding of different cultures of people. As students of various backgrounds come from all parts of the country to gather in a particular school for five or six years as the case may be. Of course, the school has passed through so many stages under so many leaderships before the present head of the school, director and principal Al Haji Bellurabe. Two years on, Al Haji Bellurabe has been piloting the affairs of FGC Kenu, and within this short period, the college has been experiencing tremendous transformation and improvement. These are in all spheres of activities in the college, unlike many unity or government and private secondary schools in the country. FGC Kenu's modes of teaching and learning are with a difference. What I can remember that our current principal did to us was even the introduction of this new learning system and the renovation of all the classes. We are now having new chairs. I can read this school 95% based on their academics because all the teachers are trying their best to see that all the students acquire knowledge. And the principal is also trying his best to provide the school with various learning equipment. Everybody knows the principal, not even me, not even our students, even the Federal Ministry of Education knows who is eligible. Um, sir, I rate it in 92% because of the academic performance of the students, the good feeding, and with the teachers and our principal, our noble principal, who have helped us, who have aided us in all our school. Here in our school, we have qualified teachers. There's a, we have conductive environment, and also our feeding. Our feeding is different from other unity schools, other schools, and also there's good social interaction between us and other students. Like now, for example, I'm from Edo State, and I have a friend that's from Horace State. Having understood the importance and how the world today is fast becoming digitalized, al Rabe compels every teacher to be computer literate, thus providing basic equipment needed for the success of the agenda. Today, projectors and PowerPoints in classrooms have taken over as tools for instructions used for teaching and learning. Doing away with the old fashion, that is the new order in FGC Kenu, in all categories from junior to senior levels. In this school under Rabe's leadership, conducive learning environment is also guaranteed. Classrooms are well spaced, well ventilated, with every class having not more than 30 students. Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon. It has been unprecedented, the leadership role that the man of this world. We have uh, student records here, both the current existing ones and they are gone. Those who have uh, graduated, eminence among them. We have uh, the current uh, Minister of Water Resources, Engineer Suleiman Adam. He graduated from this college in 1979, and this is the file here. Mm. Others we have Suku Christian. Suku Christian graduated in 1979. He was the Air Vice Marshal retired. We have as well Pinder Amina. Pinder Amina is the CBN controller, Kano Branch. She graduated in 1980. Feeding program has also recorded improvement. The testimony which can be seen first from the smokeless cooking system. The cooks prepare the food in an environment 
friendly manner. Also, varieties of food are cooked for the students who are full of excitement because of the new development in the feeding system. <laughs> Not only that, Al Haji Rabi treats the students like its biological children by monitoring how healthy this food is, as well as how the students are served. FGC Kendall enjoys good environment, meeting all essentials of better sanitation and hygiene. This is owing to some number of measures deliberately taken by the Rabi's initiative. For instance, Toilets are kept clean with 24-hour water supply through the efficient water system serving the entire college community. <laughs> Students' hostel are another conducive place rehabilitated. Classes are built attached to the dormitories for studies, thereby reducing the stress for students going to classes in the night for prep. Sanitation is linked to clinical services. Though the school clinic is upgraded, courtesy of the assistance by old students, it also receives the nod of the principal, which gives it a befitting outlook. For old students or regular visitors to FGC Kenu, the college is wearing a new look comparable to some fast-growing tertiary institutions in the country in terms of infrastructure. To the glory of Allah, two years ago before al haji Bello Rabi took the mantle of leadership, these structures were not in existence. In fact, there was acute shortage of office accommodation. These befitting principal's office, staff room, offices of vice principals, special duties one and two, and student affairs were built. Before al Rabi came to FGC Kano, a number of classrooms under construction were abandoned. The dilapidated structures accommodated deadly reptiles. That also did not escape the eagle eye of the workaholic Rabi. They were completed, furnished, and put to maximum use. Other structures are the theatre halls. Two befitting halls have been provided in the school under the leadership of Al Haji Bello Rabe. Before the intervention, there was nothing like orchard. This land was virgin. The principal deemed it fit for the school to have one. Therefore, the college orchard came into being. In sports, the school never had it so good. Yes, they're free.
To properly guide the students for their future careers, a standard guidance and counseling office was built with adequate staff to put the students through. So I'm glad that nobody is pressurizing me to be there, I just want to be there. And now you want to know the subjects that you need in your jam, right? So I know you know English language is compulsory for you, isn't it? Then literature in English is also compulsory for you. Is it compulsory? Yes, it's compulsory because you need it in university. I'm going to tell you the techniques that you are going to use so that to pass your exams. One, regular attending of lesson in the class. You're supposed to come to class very early. Then the second one uh, is concentration during lesson. Then the third one is asking questions that you don't understand. Why here? So sir, if the student is having like problem in yes. mathematics, yes. and he tried all possible solutions, so what should the person do? You see. He also pays attention to students' entrepreneurial development as a centre is put in place where the students produce a number of domestic items and pastries to be well grounded and be self-reliant after leaving the school. ICT Center also receives a boost as it is equipped with all the necessary gadgets with solar energy powering the system 24 hours. Students are going to sleep because the staff who came here to enter the school and do some other work in the school. There is some very decent improvement, especially with our principal. Is better. Has put a lot for this, to the school, and we are, the students gain a lot. It's no longer teacher just talking and students just copying. They also get to participate and learn more practically. They learn faster, and um, it's easier for the teacher to actually give whatever he or she has. So teachers no longer spend long hours preparing notes or writing notes. Uh, it used to be just the ICT center, but even the classes now, you see there are teaching aids that we use computers to teach and project us. So there is a lot of improvement. The school library is expanded and supplied with up-to-date and relevant books. Thanks to the efforts of the old students of the college, under the presidency of the current Minister of Water Resources, Engineer Suleiman Adamu, who renovated the school laboratory to this standard. This is the letter from the Honorable Minister of Education appreciating the efforts of the 1979 set for renovating our laboratory. On staff welfare, there are testimonies from staff about the principal's administration, which they say is excellent. Our staff, they, they are coming to work has been changed. They are now coming regularly simply because all what is due for them is now given to them. Believe me, since he came, there is nobody who ever go out on any official uh, work without his money in his pocket. I could remember there was in <laughs> a workshop I attended in Abuja. They were complaining. Some, of, some of people were saying, ah, our principal is just like semi-gold. When I stood up, I said, no. 
there is a very, very cordial relationship between me and my principal. Simply because be before I even step in this hall, my money for this workshop is in my budget. It's not easy, as you said, to manage academic in a very big school like this with a large population of students, the youthful exuberance, and many staff members. But Alhamdulillah, with the help and the cooperation of our director, we've been managing very well and there's been very, very cordial relationship and things are moving smoothly academically in our school. On his coming to this school, he made it composed that every teacher must be computer literate. Then we have to go into the new system of teaching and learning program in the country and the school. And uh, if you look, go around, we have more than 200 computer systems, laptops for our students to, revert, to browse, to get information from. Our teachers also the same thing. Teaching aids, just tell me, there's nothing a teacher want as teaching aids. Mention it, we get it to you because we want the best. He likes to motivate. Uh, he gives you work and he motivates you. So that kind of, it encourages us to do our, our duty. He's very hardworking. He doesn't discriminate. Uh, no sentiment. He carries everybody along. Well, I say I was not impressed at the initial spot. And at that time, the principal was also new. So I told him my dismay with a lot of things. He asked me to sit down. When I sat down, he said we are going to win it at the end. With so much devastation of the academic status we met here, he said don't get hypertension. And with the mentorship he gave me, with the backing, it's, though it has not been that too easy, but we are achieving. We and we will get to the to, to to the apex of it all. At the time, I feel so low in the work. He will give us the strength, and uh, with the staff, you know, with my experience, you know, when I come across a difficult task with the teachers doing their work, he will tell me, "Go back to your office and call them." He makes sure that discipline first, and once there is discipline then it provides a clear atmosphere for learning to take place. And secondly, for even that discipline to manifest among the children, he has to meet the need and the satisfaction of these children. And one of their needs is their feeding. In fact, he has made a great drastic change right from the, if you look at the dining hall, if you look at the kitchen complex, you look at the staff in the dining hall. He has introduced some other new meals which were not there before. The quantity and the quality of feeding. Uh, in fact, it was just too excellent. Too excellent. Why initially they have not been eating chicken in the kitchen, but he has introduced the eating of chicken. The chicken they are eating is not the kind of chicken that you just eat as well. No. At least one duration of four. So it's a, it's, a, it's a food that you eat that you know that yes, you've eaten chicken. Introduce this uh, local food, this NYK, with the, the children so much love it. Anything we asked, when it comes to student welfare, uh, he always provides us. He is always there for us. He's a result-oriented principal. He doesn't take no for an answer. But one thing for sure I want to tell you is, he will provide all the necessary things you need. He will make the atmosphere very conducive for you. All he's after is what? Result. That is the kind of principle we have. Right. <laughs> right. You're welcome. Thank you. I do if I do it for body. I have never worked under any principal like him. We well, are grateful to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who blessed us with a progressive and hardworking principal. He never takes a, a, a division alone by himself. He will call all of us with the vice principal. Then he will convert us. This is what he is intending to do or planning to carry out. How do we see it? If we have objection, then he, we, we are allowed to say it. It's a very nice principal. And if his door is open to each and every person in the school, whether academic staff or non academic staff, students, even including parents. This is further shown by the principal, as usual, of his character, 
staff are given some food items during festivities. And this time around, the gesture continues. We usually give rice.